How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. Thanks for stopping by. Now, this particular animal actually creeps out a lot of people because they're afraid it's going to burrow into their ear, lay eggs, or eat their brains. Not true at all. Obviously, I'm talking about the earwig. So come along with me and I'll give you the real earful on earwigs. Let's get started. Contrary to common belief, earwigs aren't monsters that race around in search of somebody's ear to burrow into. They are, however, rather menacing looking. Well, that's in no small part thanks to those large pincers at the back end of their bodies. Those pincers are actually modified legs, known as cerci. They are functional, but usually only used for courting and male-to-male -male combat, and apparently, to capture prey. Really wish I had some footage of that. Those pincers are also really useful for identifying the difference between males and females. The females have pincers that are fairly straight for the most part, while the males have large curved pincers. You might be asking, why are those pincers on the back end rather than the front end? Well, kind of simple. That's because they spend most of their time burrowing and moving about through soil and under debris. If they were on the front, they'd get in the way and slow them down. So with that kind of lifestyle, earwigs are predominantly nocturnal. They move about, feed, and mate in the evening hours away from sunlight and other light. That is why you might see them out on bushes or flowers in the evening, only to watch them shy away and dart for cover when the flashlight hits them. Now as for their name, Dinoptera, which actually translates to skin wing, but the common name earwig, actually ear wicca, also the spelling, is likely meant to describe their hind wing, which, when it's unfolded, somewhat resembles the shape of a human ear or a fan. Now, I really wish I had some footage of that, but I don't. However, I did find a really cool clip that someone filmed recently of their wings unfolding and actually earwigs in flight, and it looks amazing, so I'll include the link right here. There are a number of species, but the two I most often see are the common earwig and the longer maritime earwig of coastal habitats. Well, earwigs are somewhat related to crickets, grasshoppers, walking sticks, and even cockroaches. Earwigs are pretty much in their own group. They usually feed on decaying plant matter and vegetation. But some species will feed on other smaller insects and arthropods. Now, they live for about a year and they tend to mate in the fall. Maybe this year I'll get some footage of that, but until then, you'll just have to deal with this video. Earwigs actually do have a couple of amazing behaviors that is pretty rare among insects. One, the mother will clean and defend the eggs from predators. She lays about 20 to 80 eggs in a specifically built chamber of debris in the soil. Sometimes just a crevice in stone will suffice though. When the young hatch, about seven days later, the nymphs look similar to the adults. They're just smaller and the mother will actually feed them regurgitated food and protect them until their second molt. They will grow and undergo a partial or incomplete metamorphosis through five or six instars. Now maybe in the future I'll actually have an updated video on earwigs, but until then I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and remember if you like this video be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.